hello developers hope you are doing well so in this video i will tell you how we can create a splash screen uh, so after android version 12 and above google team introduced a new api to create a splash screen so we don't need to worry about creating a drawable and other parts uh, to create a splash screen so the splash screen support two types of icon either you can use a simple uh, raster or vector images or even you can use a animated drawable okay so there are different guidelines for specifying the icon size so you can check the official documentation uh, for this guideline part okay so first we need to add a dependency to our build.gradle file i have already copied the dependency so we will just paste it here and sync the project okay so we have added this dependency. So we need to go to our styles. We need to create one style for this splash screen. Okay. We will call it as theme dot splash theme. Okay. And its parent will be splash. So make sure this splash screen should be from your uh, core splash screen dependency, whatever we have added. Okay. Now we need to add all the attribute which are associated with the splash screen. So first we say a window splash screen background. Then next would be splash screen animation duration. Next will be splash screen animated icon. next will be splash screen branding image uh, so we will see this in some time uh, we don't require this behavior and we don't require icon background color okay so we will just use these three properties so the background will be uh, white and this animation duration let's say we call it as 500 and window splash screen animated icon so this is the place where we need to give an icon I already created this icon icc splash icon so i will call it at the rate drawable and it will be splash icon okay so you see there are some error because whenever we use android it means uh, it should be in the correct folder we need to use app so app means uh, we are using a support dependency so we don't need to worry about this part so we can remove this android from here okay so one more important thing we need to assign a theme which will be used after this splash theme okay so add one more theme here post splash screen theme okay and post splash screen theme will be our app theme so we will call it theme dot my application okay now we need to assign this theme to our application so go to manifest and change this to splash theme okay now if you see this one my application uh, we can see our splash screen okay so our app is crashing uh, because uh, we have defined this splash theme right so we need to do one change in our code also so just go to main activity and before this on create you need to add a line install splash screen okay now run the app again click to this icon so we can see our splash screen then we can see our uh, activity part so if you notice here we don't create a separate activity for this splash screen and we don't create any drawable and other part uh, to assign it to that theme okay so we just simply write this line and we have introduced one style and assign this style to our theme okay so there was one more attribute which i was talking about there is a brand image okay you can add a brand image also if you see here window splash screen branding image okay now if you remove this android from here so basically it is introduced in api 31 so we cannot use it in the lower version okay so what we need to do is we need to create separate style 
for this Android 12. Just press option enter here. Okay, so from here we can use this branding image. Okay, so we can remove this branding image from here and it will be specified with our 31 folder. Okay, so I need to assign a branding image also. So we can just click on drawable new factor asset click on this and you can select any icon from here let's say this will be our branding image i call it a branding image okay and assign it here branding image okay now run it again now click it and you can see we can see our logo and we can see a branding image as well okay uh, if you notice here our splash screen has a little bit more corners and if we see on the splash screen this icon is not completely visible right okay so for this part what you can do is uh, we can wrap this image into layer list so that we can see the complete icon okay just click a drawable resource file and we will call a splash wrapper okay now here we need to create a layer list okay and in the layer list we need we can assign the, this logo splash icon and we just need to set its gravity to center okay now go to your style change this splash animated icon to splash wrapper okay do the same change in this themes folder also okay now run it again okay you can see our icon and let's say if you want to increase the size of this icon you can just click here and assign a value 100 and it will be 100 okay now see okay this way we can increase our icon size as well now let's say there is one more requirement so whenever you go to this main activity it will display your splash screen and your content is displayed okay so you want to add some logic like we want to hide our splash screen when we have some initial data let's say we require some initial data to display the screen okay so what we can do is uh, we can add a pre-draw listeners what does pre-draw listener mean uh, whenever the first frame of this content is drawn then it will uh, try to start drawing your content okay so we will add a condition here if we don't have initial data we will don't start to draw our content okay so we can find the root of this layout say well we call it container and we call it find view by id as we already know the root of the layouts is android dot r dot id dot content okay so this is the default id for all the layouts okay you can see here let's call it view for now okay and we will need to add a pre-draw listener form a tree observer we will call it a view tree observer and add on pre-draw okay so we need to add a condition before drawing the content of this page okay okay so here we implement an interface called object and it will be on pre-draw listener okay then we need to implement this interface on pre-draw then we can add a condition here I'm just adding a dummy condition okay this will be changed if i say true here and it will be return on pre dot true else return false okay for now i will just assign it a value of false here let's see what happened now now if you see here we have a splash screen so it will never hide 
So this way we can block our splash screen to wait for some time. And once we have our data here, uh, we can just simply call a pre-draw. Okay, this is a dummy case. You can use here, let's say you have your view model. In the view model, you decide like, okay, we have this data. So you can just change this flag to true. And then automatically your UI will be drawn. Okay, let's say if I call it as true. And rerun it again. And I click on this app. And we can see our main activity. Okay, so this way we can add a delay uh, to drawing our content. So that much for this video.